Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So I think it was yesterday or the day before, I exposed part of the details for the Chinese-only VIP program. So again, there's two there's two different VIP programs. The one that's publicly available and that that uh, 242 is posting images about and trying to recruit people for. But there's the non-public version and the prizes and the bonuses and things like that that isn't public information. Um, anyway, can't talk about that. But what I can do is I can show you the support messages that people are getting when they're making support requests asking about, hey, what is that? And um, why is it for Chinese people only? Well, that's kind of an interesting question. So let's see what King of Avalon support has to say about this. Let's read it, you and me together. Hey, thank you for contacting us. As you know, King of Avalon is an online strategy game, and we would like to assure you that all players receive the same treatment from our team. Yes, we're all treated equally bad. We would kindly advise you to disregard all general information from players informing you of receiving such benefits from our team as we do not provide free items or discounts to anyone. Really, best of luck and continue to get screwed in your adventures of King of Avalon. Regards, shady people who lie. Okay, so, no, all right, those are other images. Now, we move on to the next email. And this is, so the story of the support starts out it doesn't exist. We don't do it for anybody. Please go away and stop bothering us. Because a lot of people were asking about it in King of, King of Avalon's uh, general Discord channel, not my channel. They were asking about it somewhere else. That, and every time someone would ask about it, they'd delete the comment, they'd delete the link, and they'd pretend like it didn't exist because they don't really know how to handle it. And um, yeah, they got busted. And the proof I have is only, like it's, it's a 10% discount. And people aren't going to get like super outraged over 10%. I mean, like, honestly, the racism side of it probably upsets me more than 10%, but still, uh, it's, it's a 10% over the American prices. If you're in the UK or Germany or Australia, it's actually more like 25 or 30% because they get screwed on the exchange rates and taxes and different things like that. So for them, it's more like 25 or 30%, but against American prices, it's only 10%. That's the base price. And that's what's publicly available. Okay, what's not publicly available, can't talk about that. But, okay, I'm, I'm digressing. Let's move on to the next reply. So we started out as getting a reply. It doesn't exist, all general information. We treat all players the same. Okay, now let's move on to this request. Hello, Musketeer, it's, it's from Guns of Glory, so forgive me, but it, it, it's the same premise. Thank you for contacting Guns of Glory support. We would like to inform you that this is our platform for beta testing, we currently have no positions available. Aha. Huh. So now they're acknowledging that, that it, it's a platform and it's in beta testing. And, and when I asked about this before, hey, why can't white people join it? They, they told me it's in beta testing too, but that's not, that doesn't make any sense because 242 is always recruiting people for it. It's, yeah, whatever. Yeah, semantics. Um, so now they're saying it's a, a beta platform. And it's been in beta for like a year, a year and a half now, you know, whatever. Uh, so there's this reply. So this is the second thing. So this, the first thing is, is it doesn't exist. Uh, we don't know what it is. Now they're saying it's a beta platform, but it gets more funny. So now we go into our third request, the most recent one. So the narrative keeps changing. First, it doesn't exist. Then it's a beta platform. Now we're getting the, the narrative that, oh, thank you for contacting King of Avalon support. We would like to inform you that the Google payment option is not available in China. Thus, our team decided to help by creating a pay.kingsgroup.cc platform available for only Chinese players. Uh, okay. But again, this is a lie because it's available for Taiwanese as well. So in Taiwan can actually use Google payment option. Wait a second. So the narrative keeps changing, but now they're at least admitting that they're being racist. Okay. So they're, they're at least admitting that they're being racist, but the reason they're being racist is because Google payment option doesn't exist in China. But uh, that's a lie. I'm pretty sure that people can pay, in, they can buy apps from Google Play in China Pretty sure about that. So I think that's a lie. And it also doesn't explain why only Chinese people are getting a discount. Okay. So 
we're dealing with a company that creates secret websites for Chinese people only, gives them discounts for Chinese people only, and we're supposed to believe anything that they can say? And when you email their support and you ask about it, the narrative keeps changing. Hmm, suspicious. So, yeah, I hope this explains it. Yeah, you, you, yeah it explains just a tad, tad, tad bit of it. And um, ladies and gentlemen, I know you guys are tired of me talking and ranting about, you know, the unfairness of this game. This isn't the thing that I want to do. I don't sit at home and, and quietly and secretly think about what I can expose with King of Avalon day after day. Nope, 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 nope. I've got things to do. But what I want to do, my, my goal and my sincere, my sincere hope is not to pick on Chinese people. Okay, seriously, you know, all the Chinese people who watch my videos, all, all two of you, um, I'm not picking on you. I'm not bashing on Chinese companies. What I'm really trying to point out here is a company that's doing unethical things, racist things, and they're abusing their community. They're abusing the trust that we give them. You know, we, we love the game. You know, so many of us love King of Avalon and we love the social experience, but we're being scammed. We're being lied to. And, you know, it doesn't feel that good. So it's like from my heart, it's, it's, it's things that I want to share with you guys because other people, they don't care. You know, they're, they're so callous to it. They're like, ah, whatever. We know they're scamming us. Just keep moving on. But those are the people that probably didn't spend, you know, $100,000 or $200,000 whatever amount, you know, these are the, these are the, the free players who, you know, it, it impacts them less because they're, you know, they're not really a stakeholder in the game. They, they don't have any, you know, strong financial, you know, whatever, whether it's fair or not, they're always, they're always getting screwed. So, you know, the, you know, what, what difference does it make if, if a big spender gets 10% or 70% discount to them, they're, they're going to get screwed either way. So for them, yeah, they're, they're quite callous to it. And this is, you know, this doesn't impact them. But there is a lot of Western players that, um, you know, that this does impact. And um, I don't actually want to hurt King of Avalon. What I really want to do is I really want to make people strongly aware of their scams and their unethical behavior and get them to fix it. Because at the point that they fix it, now we start going onto a level playing field. Then, you know, it's like, okay... You can win by cheating, but when it's fair, what are you going to do then? And then they're going to end up like N14. They're going to be bubbled nonstop because, you know, that's just how things go. So, yeah, this is why I do these videos. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to share it with you guys because otherwise, if nobody stands up and says anything, we're all just going to get, you know, bent over over and over and over again. So hopefully they fix this. They should either take the website down. They should discontinue all discounts. Google payment isn't available in South Africa. Okay, whatever. They should either take it down entirely or they need to make it available to everyone. Not 242, not these complex accounts. You know, and, and all these things that they won't disclose, like, hey, 242 is recording people to this platform. Is he getting a referral fee for it? If he isn't, I'm a monkey's uncle. You know, stuff like this. So, I mean, there's a lot of things here. What's his relationship with the studio? Is he employed by you guys? Is there any contracts? I'd love for them to disavow that. Seriously. I would love for them to say they don't have any contracts with anybody about promoting the game, promoting the VIP program, or otherwise. You know, not these lame, false information support requests. But again, I mean, they're not really going to, um, they're not going to just say blatantly, oh yeah, you guys submitted a support request. Yeah, we'll just totally admit we're cheating you guys. No, that, that, that's not how it works. I mean, like, if they're cheating you, of course they're just going to keep trying to hide it. Or maybe these support people, you know, they're just low-level monkeys that, that don't know anything. And that's more likely the truth. I mean... Uh, and then you have, you know, the developers that are actually involved in the community, but they won't actually tell you the truth either because, well, you know, they get paid in order to keep the secrets and in order to just, you know, keep doing the things that they do. And maybe they don't agree with it, but they can't fix it. 
So if you can't fix it, what do you do? You know if you tell everybody about it, everybody's going to get up in a just, you know, stinky pants uproar and quit or angry or whatever it is. So, you know, I mean, whether you agree with it or not, as a developer for King of Avalon, you're just kind of stuck because it won't change. The studio is inherently, you know, just greedy, scandalous people who have absolutely no ethics whatsoever. And it goes all the way from the support all the way to, to their leadership, you know, Andy Zhang. Um, I'm just calling you out, man. You know, you're a very bright person, you know, Stanford and all of these things, but you're a greedy douchebag. And um, you really need to, you know, maybe take a look at yourself because there's a point when, you know, how do you make money? How do you become successful? You know, they never taught you business ethics in Stanford. Seriously. There, there's, there's never, you just think that the people in the community are just here for you to just, just cheap for you to flog and abuse at any means possible in order to make a buck. This is really the kind of community and game and, and, and platform and, and things that you feel are okay. Seriously. So there's definitely some ethics involved. And um, they're not an American company, so they don't really have to, to abide by, you know, any, any fair business practices of America. It's, well, it's actually, you know, I think it's a, it's a Hong Kong holdings company, and the terms of service are, are completely unfavorable to users, and, and we have no recourse. But that's okay. We still love the game. Even though we know we're getting scammed, some of us will still continue to pay and some of us will quit. So I'm going to keep looking for different alternative platforms for people to enjoy and have fun on and move away from this negative content. The day that I can play something fun and not have anything negative to say, I'm going to be so happy because that's what I'm striving for. I'm going to leave it at that. All right. Love you guys. Bye-bye for now.